Hello, boys and girls. It is so wonderful to see you here. And do you know what? I am really, really excited because I am going to be telling you a story today. Now, would you like to know what story I have? Yes? Ooh. Now, this story is called One Magical Christmas. Shall we open up the book and see what story is inside? Yes. What's going to be on the next page? Ooh. One magical Christmas. Now, let the story begin. Look at those wonderful, wonderful pictures. Look at this, aren't they beautiful? Now, let's start reading the story. It was Christmas Eve in the workshop and Father Christmas was loading up the sleigh. Teddy was worried. Do you think we'll like our new home? he asked. Of course we will, said Dolly. It will be wonderful. Next page. At last, the sleigh was full and they were on their way. Dolly and Teddy peered over the edge as they flew up, up into the night sky. The snow was sparkling on the ground below and the stars shone brightly above them. As they soared towards the first house, <gasps> Teddy's scarf caught in the wind and whipped away into the night. <gasps> Oh no, he gasped. As soon as they had landed, he leaped and raced after it. Come back, come back, cried Dolly. Father Christmas will be leaving again soon. But Teddy didn't stop. He chased, jumped and reached out his paws until at last he caught the scarf. Quick, Teddy, said Dolly, and they hurried back towards the sleigh. But the sleigh had left without them. Father Christmas, stop! Come back, they cried, but Father Christmas didn't hear them. <laughs> it was too late. They were all alone in the strange, dark woods. Across the snow together. It was 
hard work. They were only small and everything around them was so big. walked along, something tickled Teddy's nose. Oh, Dolly, he giggled, it's snowing. Fluffy snowflakes tumbled down towards their smiling faces. Dolly tried to catch them on her tongue. Teddy built a snow bear. Come on, Dolly said after a while, we need to keep going. It was getting very late. The snow fell thicker. The sky grew darker. The wind blew harder. Dolly and Teddy struggled along in the deep snow. <gasps> Suddenly, they heard a noise. <gasps> what was that? whispered Teddy, holding on to Dolly tightly. They looked up and saw a dark shape in the tall trees. <gasps> Who? 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 <gasps> Run! cried Dolly, and they ran like the wind. Suddenly, Teddy tripped at the top of a hill and with a slip and a slide and a bump, he tumbled all the way down. Oh, Teddy, cried Dolly, are you all right? I think so, he said, sitting up, his eyes opening wide. Look, Dolly. The flickering there, flickering through the trees, was a warm, glowing light. <gasps> Is it the sleigh? Teddy asked. No, said Dolly. I think it's a house. <gasps> so they set off to find it. The house looked so warm and inviting. There was a big Christmas tree with fairy lights all over it. Ooh, Teddy gasped. It looks cosy in there. Let's go in, said Dolly. I'm sure Father Christmas will find us here. Dolly and Teddy crept into the quiet house, down the long hallway to the room with the twinkling Christmas tree. Under the tree, they found two little beds, so they snuggled down to rest. Will we ever find our new home? asked Teddy. Of course we will, said Dolly and they soon fell sound asleep. Snow settled quietly over the sleeping houses and children everywhere dreamed of the magical toys that Father Christmas would bring. In the middle of the night, Father Christmas arrived at the house on the edge of the woods with the twinkling Christmas tree and the two little stockings. Nobody saw him and nobody heard him. When he found the two little toys asleep in their beds, he could not believe his eyes. Well, how did you two get here? He wondered. 
He scratched his head. Well, well, well. You found your new home all on your own. It must be Christmas magic. On Christmas morning, two little children raced down the stairs to see what Father Christmas had brought them. Under the tree, they found just what they had wished for. There was a cuddly teddy in a soft green scarf and a smiling dolly in a beautiful blue dress. Dolly and Teddy looked at each other and smiled. They had found their new home all on their own and it really was wonderful. And that, boys and girls, was the most beautiful and magical story called One Magical Christmas. And I really do hope that you get exactly what you wish for from Father Christmas. I wish you the happiest of Christmases. Bye-bye.